Okay, so having uh, loaded the route into the analyzer, I've been out elsewhere on plant and taken some measurements on various assets. Here we are at the next asset to be measured, the boiler feed pump. I've got it active on the screen, so let's get to it and take the reading. Okay, so here we are at the first measurement point on the boiler feed pump. It's the motor non-drive end. It's important that we measure as near as we possibly can to each bearing location on the machine and we give consideration to measuring horizontally, vertically and actually in line with the shaft. We look to measure in the centre line of the shaft where possible horizontally and equally in the centre line vertically. So, my first point is the motor non-drive end horizontal. I'm going to place the sensor, I'm going to roll the sensor gently onto the monitoring disc and I'm going to give it a second or two to settle. The crystal and the sensor needs to be settled and I'm going to press the button. And immediately on the instrument I can validate the data. I'm making sure there's no ski slope presence in my spectrum. I can clearly see there's not good quality data. I'm going to move to the next location, which is the motor non-drive end vertical. Again, roll the sensor onto the monitoring disc, give it a couple of three seconds to stabilize, and away we go. And again, I'm validating the data as it's being measured. That's the non-drive end finished. Not possible to measure actually because of the, cup, uh, the, the fan cowl. We're gonna move through to the drive end now. Here we are at the drive end of the motor. Again, roll the sensor onto the first point at this end, which is the drive end horizontal. Give it a second or two to settle, and again, acquire the data, validate no ski slope, it's clean, good data, move forward to the next point, which is the motor drive end vertically, a little bit more tricky in there, and here we go, a few seconds to settle, good clean data, move to the next point, which is the motor drive end actual, again in the centre line, that kind of three or nine o'clock would be desirable in an actual direction. We place the sensor onto the monitoring disc, give it a couple of three seconds again to stabilize, and we collect the data and validate the data's good. Okay, I'm also going to measure the uh, bearing temperatures where possible, and we're going to record the bearing drive end temperature, which I've entered into the, into the uh, data collector, and equally the same on the pump and that's done with maybe a localised temperature gun that I'm just going to use and point and shoot the temperature. We're now going to move forward to the drive end of the pump and again we're going to measure horizontally. So again roll the sensor onto the monitoring disc, two or three seconds of stabilisation time and then I'm going to acquire the data, validate the data's good, no ski slope, nice clean data. I'm going to then move to the next point which is the pump drive end vertical. So there we are in the vertical location. Again, two or three seconds to stabilize and then a second or so of time on my instrument. And we're gonna collect the data, clean data, no ski slope. We're not able to measure safely an actual reading on the pump drive end, so we're not actually going to take that particular position in this instance. Okay, so just to finalize and finish the machine off, we're going to measure at the uh, pump non-drive end. So again, roll the sensor on gently and give it a few seconds to stabilize. Validate the data, nice clean spectrum, no ski slope, we're good to go. Vertically, I have to come slightly off the top dead center here. There's uh, um, just a slight few degrees to the top dead center there, but I'm in a vertical direction, that's good. And then we press the button and validate the data, good again. And then to finalize the pump non-drive end actual location to take the final measurement and away we go. So that's good. So we've completed the full data set. We've collected spectrum, time waveform at every single position we've measured, every direction that we've actually been able to measure. And we've got nice, clean, clear data, 1600 lines for the spectres maybe fairly commonplace, maybe some people use 3,200 lines, um, maybe four to six averages for a steady state machine like this would be a good adequate setting. So I guess that's it, you know, that's uh, pretty much the story on this particular pump.